All right, hi there. My name is Amir and I work for the Ithaca Youth Bureau and today I'm gonna to be going over how to play guitar. So this lesson is for anyone who has a guitar and would like to learn how to play. Uh, it doesn't matter what level you're at, but I'm gonna be catering to those who are at the beginner level, meaning that you're just starting out, that you just got a guitar and you would like to know all about it. So um, I'm gonna be breaking these down into 10 minute lessons and this will be the first one. So um, you'll have to stay tuned for the others. So the first thing for today that we'll do and that we'll go over is learning about our instrument a little bit. So this is the guitar that I have today. This is an electric guitar and there are many different types of guitars. You have basically your electric guitars and you have an acoustic guitar, which I also have. Um, for this lesson and for many of our other lessons, it won't matter if you have an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar, both will work as long as it has six strings. And that's ultimately what makes it a guitar is that it has six uh, strings here. So um, one thing that'll be important to know are the names of each of our strings. So that'll be the first lesson that we can start off with for today is getting to know each string of the guitar. So let's start off first with this very low, our heaviest string here. This string is called the E string. Okay, and it sounds like this. And that's the lowest string. So you can find out if it's the lowest one by going down and then you can go all the way up to the, to the high ones. But our lowest string here, and again, this one here is the lowest. That is our E string. And then we're just gonna go right on down to our next string. That one's our A string. And again, that's the second one from the top. And then we have this one. That one's our G string. Sorry, our D string. That's the D string. G string, B string, and then that's the high E string. So let's do go, we'll go through it again. So we have the low E. That's the A. D. G string. B string. And then our high E string. So those are all of our strings. And then on the other end of the guitar is where we have our tuners. So these control basically the tone and the notes that these strings ring out. So our standard tuning is basically what I have here. So if you don't have a tuner at home, you can always go online or you can um, also, you could if you have like another instrument like a piano, you can test your, basically you can find out if your guitar is in tune in relation to like a piano. Or again, there are plenty of online tuners. Um, this guitar here, it's already in tune in the standard tuning. Um, and in case your guitar is not in tune, we have our tuner pegs here. And basically by turning these either left or to the right, it will be adjusting the tone and the, and the pitch of your strings. So this one's all set, but if these were not to be in tune, I'd turn them and I would change the overall tone of the guitar. Now along the guitar is what we have here. This, so this is our tuning tuning side. And if I were to turn these, they're just the, t the actual tuning of uh, the pitch. Um, as we go along the guitar, we have this here, this longer piece here is referred to as the neck of the guitar. And this is where all of our notes are played on. So basically by pressing different parts of the guitar here is where we can get different pitches and different tones. So this is the neck of the guitar. This ultimately here is considered the body. So this is the body of the guitar. And um, it's basically what you use to kind of rest on where we you know, you pluck our strings or if you're doing finger style, you'll do your finger movements here. Um, and then we have the bridge of the guitar where the strings attach to. Um, if you were to plug this into an actual amp, you have like your little toner here and then you have like where you put your input in there. And yeah, that's the overall basis of the guitar and this is obviously on the back side. Now with an acoustic guitar, it might be a little different where, you, where instead of having um, basically where instead of having like you might have an open space here where it'll amplify the sound. 
Um, this is supposed to be amplified with an actual like guitar amp. So that's why this one doesn't have the hole in it. But again, the very, it should all be very similar. So you should have the overall neck of the guitar, you should have your tuning areas here, and then the overall, of course, body of your guitar. Um, so I, one thing that's really good to practice on, and I think will be a great for a great first lesson, is getting used to going up and down the neck of the guitar. So that's basically or how you're gonna you know start begin to make songs and make sounds and to get familiar with your with your guitar. So the way I want us to have us do it though is to start off by doing it by string. So um, and this is a important lesson here. You'll notice that there are these little like these uh, silver type metal um, pieces along the guitar of your neck, or along the neck of the guitar. These are referred to as frets and they control the overall tone. So this is first fret, second, I'm just slowly going up. And it starts from the top and basically you can always count up. So if I say first fret, this means you're gonna press the first fret, which is this one second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and on. Um, so basically, I want us to get comfortable with getting our fingers warmed up and being able to like go up and down uh, the guitar. Um, that's a really good skill to have and it'll be a strong introduction into learning how to play the instrument. Um, so we'll do the first string again, if you reference back our low E string, this one. So this is when I, so this is an open note, so I will play the E note open. And then we'll get our guitar all set up here like this. And then I'll say, let's play the first fret of the low E string. So that means you'll take your pointer finger like this, and then you'll press down on the first fret, which is this one. So let's do open and first fret. Nice. Then we'll go to second fret. And let's use our, our second finger here. Nice. Then we'll do third fret. And let's use the third finger. And then we'll do fourth fret. And let's use our pinky finger here. Okay. So that's, so you can do that on your end. And then once you're able to do that, we'll move on down to the fifth fret. So you count one, two, three, four, five. And when you get to the fifth fret, we'll use our, again, our pointer finger, our first finger, we'll go like this. And then the sixth fret, we'll use our second finger. Third fret, we'll use the third finger. Fourth fret, we'll use our pinky finger. Okay. And then we'll keep on going. The 10th fret, we use our first finger. 11th fret, or 9th fret, sorry, the first finger. 10th fret, our second finger. 11th fret, the third finger. And then 12th fret will be our fourth finger. And nice, and then we can even go back down with that. So, 12th fret, 11th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret. 8th fret, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and then open. So that's, so that's basically going up and down the neck of the guitar. And if you like, you can even keep going further past the 12th fret all the way up to here if you like. But I think that's a good thing to practice, going all the way up and down the guitar here. It's a really strong thing. And also... Again, remembering the different names of the strings for now. So we have the E string, A string, D string, G string, B string, and then high E string. So you can even write that out if you like. E, A, D, G, B, and then E. And all right, so I think that'll be all for today's lesson. Uh, be sure to stay tuned uh, for the next lesson. And yeah, I look forward 
uh, to teaching you guys some more next time. All right, have a good one.